Ah, AoE 1. But you have absolutely no idea how to play AoE 1 because you are an AoE 2 player. Well, we are here to teach you how to do some nice chill games on Highlands. And by nice chill games, I mean murder the bejeebies out of your opponents with memes. In number 5, we actually have three very similar rushes and could kind of be considered meta. It's a fast two age into one of your specialty units. For example, slingers, archers, or axemen. The build is relatively simple. You start with six on food, one to scout, five on wood, rest on food till you hit 20, make a storage pit, and click up. The one big thing is for the slinger rush, you want to build your storage pit on stone because slingers also cost stone. Send a villager forward to scout to make sure that you know where your opponent is. This game is total RNG. Build a whole bunch of the buildings that you require to make either axemen, slingers, or archers. Here's where the meme comes in. Don't make any additional villagers, just make the unit that you want to be rushing with because once the opponent's economy is dead, once they're overwhelmed by your units, there's no coming back in AoE 1. Take advantage of that free food stuff because of your scouting. I found that one on stone for slingers is more than plenty. If you need more, you can add more onto stone, but you can get three racks production from one or two on stone. I know I'm showing you a lot of this game here now, but this will be the base for a lot of the other fast one unit rushes. Remember that scouts counter slingers and archers, axemen counter scouts, and slingers and archers counter axemen. However, if you have 50 million slingers, it doesn't matter if they have two scouts. GG, no re. Here is the 20 pop full archer rush. When you're going for one specific unit, make sure that you're picking a civilization such as Assyrians in which your units benefit from their civ bonus. Here, archers fire 33% faster, thus shredding basically everything. Archer armor from the storage pit and the <laughs> attack upgrade is from the market. Wood cutting. Don't ask me why. I, I promise you, num number four, three, two, and, and one are, are more entertaining. Just, just stick with me here. But I do want to show you this clip, regular time, and the realizations that I make. And then we want Axeman. Axeman upgrade. And we need food. Oops. It's fine. Numbers. Can we gonna get around some people? Be great. That's me now coming in. GG. That's that. That's how easy it is. Triple barracks. Axeman in your opponent's face. John, see ya. We're out of here. We're still collecting food at home. Just stop making villagers after 20 pop and go up. And basically anything that you do murders your opponent. That's why this next strat is so absolutely recronculous. It's a 24 pop fast bronze age build in which you try and go for as many chariot archers as humanly possible by getting wheel from the market as well as wood upgrades to increase that attack and archer armor from the storage pit most of the time you won't reach the point that i'm showing you right now as your entire eco will already be murdered by axemen however if it does work it is quite satisfying what it worked this fast Bronze Age Rush can also be done by means of going into Cavalry. I, I, I know, they're, they're, the units are called Cavalry, it's quite stupid, but you need to put a storage pit on gold in order to pay for your Cavalry, otherwise you can't 
for them. Nine times out of ten, this won't work because once again, you will already be dead to an early rush. What? It worked? In number three, free, 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 free. It's the Clubman rush. When early rushes aren't early rushes enough for you, then you can go even earlier with Clubman? Rogan? Instead of clipping up at 20, just make free raxes and put all of those resources into Clubman. It's stupid, it's fun, and if you don't win with this push, you're dead. So make sure that you deadedit your opponent before your opponent deadedits you with stronger two age units. I have a really funny situation where I ran out of food, which I'll show at the end. GG, number dos. It's the Say My Name Scout build. 20 pop, no more villagers, double stables. I like to add triple stables because I have no intention of ever adding villagers in. Getting the armor upgrade as well as the attack upgrade with Yamato is really favorable as Yamato get 30% reduction on their stable upgrade costs as well as minus 33% to the cost of the stable itself. So you can really crank out scouts very, very early. This game was played against a 2.3k player and it didn't even matter that he went for my counter units we just ran right forward destroyed his entire economy and in age of empires one you can't recover from that so that's gg in number uno the most hated rush in all of age of empires one it is the bone rush that's right, Sumerian Bone Rush is the most hated strategy in Age of Empires. You don't need any skill, you just need that 15 HP that they give you. You put 6 onto food, 1 onto wood, run forward with all of your villagers, and you just start, well, boning them to death with your bone sticks. Oh, we gon' find you, so you can run and tell that, run and tell that, run and tell that, oh, 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 boy. And once you do find them, make sure that you don't engage with one villager that is significantly outnumbered by many. Wait till you have a couple of villagers, keep them alive, and then attack in a group, making sure that you always have the numerical advantage when engaging. This should lead to favorable trades. Just make sure that you keep them off of food, because if they manage to get up to the 2 age, you're going to be in a world of hurt, as almost any unit murders villagers let the madness commence running around the tz like a chicken with a, a head God. I'm running out of sound effects at this point. Is this game over yet? Not yet? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, bone him to death! <laughs> you got bone to death. <laughs> oh my. Oh, that was, that was stressful. That was fun though. It actually worked. It actually totally kind of work. This is this is some top AOE2 content right here. That's a super way to play. No you. B -b -b Bonus clip. This is probably the most ridiculous three barrack clubmen rush that I have ever played on AOE one. Now, I want to thank everybody for supporting me. If you have made it this far in the video and you like the content that you see, please consider dropping a like and subscribe. We are trying to hit a subscriber goal of 4,000 by the end of the year. And I know with your help, we can do exactly that. Or we could just die to clubmen, I suppose. It looks like my opponent is absolutely dead in this situation, but he has a couple of tricks up his sleeves, and I make a couple of stupid realizations. Realization 1. Two-age units are superior 
to those of the Stone Age. His axemen were really shrecking me until I got just too many numbers for him to deal with. Realization number two, it is actually possible to keep yourself in the Stone Age indefinitely if you have consumed all the food that is on the map because you only get farming in Tool Age. Realization three, my opponent's not dead yet. He is farming over in this corner and we have run out of food. Surely my clubman can break into this base and end this once and for all. Realization four, archers, even in relatively small numbers behind walls, destroy clubmen. It is at this point that I realize I am completely and utterly boned. I only just clicked up to the tool age and uh, we have 17 villagers. It's fine. We just go for cavalry and those counter archers will be, will be fine. It's, it's, it's fine. It's not fine. It's definitely not fine. GG. Thanks for walking.